Yes. Look at that dark chocolatey goodness. Mm. This is one of my all time favorite beers. They only release it during winter, I believe. It is the Black Chocolate Stout from Brooklyn Brewery. It is a legendary Russian Imperial Stout, a 10% ABV. Oh, crrr. I love me a stout. It's honestly like a meal in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Game of Thrones is coming back. Are you guys super excited? So I'm not sure if you've noticed, but like my lighting is a lot better in this video and it's like totes because I got a ring light. Honestly, what happened is I have been doing all of my filming since I started this channel channel basically depending entirely on daylight. I was basically having to wait for like the perfect weather and the sunniest day and then my boyfriend is like listen we can't do this anymore I'm just getting you a ring light. So he got me one for Christmas. Why didn't I get one before? I'm an idiot. I mean I got zero room for this shit in this teeny tiny studio apartment okay but you know what? It's all for you guys. No, really, it's just about my own vanity. So today is my December Boxy Lux review. I'm really excited to show you this box because it was huge, a giant box. I am going to be doing it from square one, trying everything on for you guys. That's why I have zero zip makeup on right now. Before I get going, I sort of have to tack an addendum onto my last video, which was my 2018 best of the best. I forgot a couple things. I posted my video, everything was up, and I was like, pour myself some wine that night and I thought, oh my god, I totally forgot a concealer category. How could I forget that category? It's so important. So I'm gonna do it now. Guys, I'm sorry I pulled a Catherine O'Hara in Home Alone. I totally forgot about you. I'm sorry. These are the two concealers I literally have been grabbing for every single day. It is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. You can see I'm like down to the very bottom of this. And this is my Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm just a huge fan of really light concealers. Even my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which, you know, when I started YouTube was my absolute favorite. It's just a little bit too heavy and thick for me. I'm 35 going on 36. I can't be like, cake and shit up under my eyes. I look old and cakey. These just make me look like I don't have any fine lines and wrinkles, which I do. Honestly, if I wake up in the morning and I just have to run out the door to do something, I will throw this on under my eyes just to lighten up any dark areas and I look instantly refreshed and awake. The other thing I forgot to mention in the lipstick category, I love this MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. I have this in two colors. This particular color is called Devoted to Chili. You see how it goes on? It goes on like a butter. It is a little bit waxy, which I like. Honestly, this formula is wizardry and I, I don't, even understand it so mac powder kiss run do not walk one thing i will say about this lighting though is it's making me sweat my ass off oh well so we're just gonna dive right into the box guys i saved the box which i think is hilarious because why did i save this box i've obviously been using everything in it since the middle of december i guess i just wanted to show you how giant it is so if you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a subscription beauty service. I think it is the best one out there. It's like Christmas once a month. They send you a box with four to five full-sized products in it. The box is always themed. If you like, you can upgrade to Boxy Lux, which means that four times a year you pay extra money. I think it's like an extra $20, $30 or something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine products in the box. I think everything combined added up to three $150. So I went ahead and upgraded to the Boxy Lux. Okay, so the theme of this box is called Tis the Sea Sun. <laughs> I'm going to start off telling you about the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is I love. Clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, this is everything your skincare routine has been missing. A potent cocktail of seaweeds has been blended with ginkgo biloba, rose, and mimosa to moisturize and visibly improve fine lines. This ultimate anti-aging cream will leave your skin feeling supple, firm, and radiant. I've been using this as my day cream every day right before makeup application. In the winter, it's perfect. It's what I've used in my last couple videos as my primer. It is super water-based, so it feels really light but really hydrating. I already put some on my face. I don't want to be over-moisturized, but I don't know what this scent is, but it's just a really fresh skincare scent. Okay, a little bit sweaty. And that moisturizer retails for $89. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not even look at that until this moment. I'm even more excited about that now. That is fancy. 
so the next thing in my boxy lux was as far as i'm concerned one of the stars of the entire box this is the luxie rose gold complete face brush set shit it comes with eight brushes and i'm gonna go through all of them really quickly with you i had them in order and i just messed it up damn it so you have your luxie 201 brow and lash spoolie i actually didn't have a brush like this and i'm finding it's coming in handy when I want to declump my lashes. The Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. This is great for lining your eyes and just getting in really tight along your lash line. It's just January, but don't mind me. I'll just be dying in a pool of my own sweat. Blend your foundation effortlessly with the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. I actually don't really use a brush like this to blend my foundation, and I tried it out, and I'm gonna show you how great it is. I'm kind of obsessed with it. The 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I actually like to use this to set my under eye, and this is a brush that I had even before this set, so now I have two. Your Luxie 160 Lip Brush. I don't use lip brushes a lot on myself, but when I do makeup on clients, obviously I use this a lot. Contour with the 680 Pro Precision Face Brush. We have the 213 Eye Shading Brush and the 229 Tapered Blending Brush. That is the full face brush set. It retails for $65. I believe you can just go to Luxie.com and find that set. I have been love, love, loving almost all of these brushes and I've been using them on and off every day. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying my foundation with these brushes so you can see how they work. Today I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick and I'm in the shade Light 55C. I'm going to be applying this to my face with a brush and then I'm going to use one of the Luxie brushes to flawlessly blend it into my face. A little bit goes a long way with this foundation stick, I'll tell you right now. You can always add more later if you feel like you need it. I'm going to use the Round Top Blender. These earrings may not have been the best decision for this video. They're getting in the way. I'm using this in lieu of my beauty blender, and you guys know I'm kind of like a beauty blender gal. But I really love the application this gives me. You know, I love switching it up and applying things in a different way. Sometimes you gotta keep it fresh, you know? So now I'm going to go in with my stretch concealer and do my under eyes, and also any areas where I feel like I need a little bit more help, like around my nose. And I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. This is my favorite thing for sure to use for under eye because that little point can just get right up into the corner there. Okay, perfect. I am going to take my ColourPop fluffy brush and set my face. I'm also using my ColourPop no filter translucent powder. I do love this translucent powder. The only thing I'll say is, ColourPop, can you please do better with this packaging? I mean, this is teens begins and it's so tiny that like once I put the brush in and powder flies everywhere and I don't know, not my favorite, but I'm willing to overlook at ColourPop because I love you. This is probably one of my favorite brushes in the entire set. This is the tapered highlighting brush, but I'm going to use it, as I said, to set my under eye. And I'm gonna do that with my NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna use that same brush to do my bronzer. This is my Benefit Hula Bronzer. So I'm gonna jump right into the eye look. BoxyCharm sent the Violet Voss Pro HG Palette. Indulge in 20 highly pigmented eyeshadow shades ranging in finish from creamy matte to bold metallic silky satin. Its vegan, cruelty-free formula is created with finely milled pigments, making for smooth application and easy blending. So this retails for $45. Really, really love this palette. It's absolutely stunning right down to the packaging. I love how substantial it is. It doesn't feel super flimsy and cardboardy. They give you this huge ass which you can do all of your makeup in. These shades are really gorgeous and blendable. It's impossible for me to show you all of these shades, obviously. I'm going to do a mostly matte look today, and then I'll use a little shimmer on my brow bone and my inner corner. I just do want to swatch some of these for you. This is called Cool Beans, and it's this, oh my god, it's like butter when you put your finger in it. 
look at that payoff. This one is super fun. It's called So Jelly. It's this really fun sort of iridescent pink color. The shimmers are stunning. Also, the names of these shades are brilliant. Like this shade is called How You Doing? Glamping, Cool Beans, Awesome Sauce. Whoever named these, you're killing it at your job. I'm gonna go in with this really neutral shade, Thanks A Latte. I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind to prime my eyes, just so that the pigment has something to stick to and that the color has a little bit more payoff. I'm going to be using the Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. So they do have a shade called Transition right here, which is really subtle and beautiful. I'm going to go in with Bestie. It's a little bit darker than Transition, and I'm just going to sort of deepen my crease. Just taking that right along my crease, just a little bit above it on my brow bone. I'm going to go in and deepen that a little bit further with this color, which is called Brownie Points. And I'm literally using the same brush for all of this. If I can get away with using the same brush, I will. So we're gonna go in with this dark cranberry color. It's called Wine and Dine. I feel like the cranberry eye look was like a huge deal and I just didn't ever really get on board. So guess what y'all, today's the day. Ooh, that is a gorge color. And I'm just kind of taking it just a little bit into my crease and blending it with all of those other shades. And I'm really just taking this all over my lid. This is just a mini tapered brush and I'm going to do my brow bone. So I'm going to go in with Crystal, which is just like iridescent bright white color. I'm going to take this little teeny tiny brush and this is also a Lexi brush from another boxy charm and I'm gonna do my inner corner with it I'm gonna take that same crystal color I just used on my brow bone little angelic corner over here we're gonna use one of these shadows to line our eye and I'm using teddy bear which is this plummy chocolatey brown so I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush a little bit with some fix plus I want the line to be kind of like smudgy and lush and then I'm also going to do my lower lash line with that. I really thought I was gonna have to go in and sort of like smudge this out with a clean brush but it kind of looks amazing right now so winning. Okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye and then I'm gonna come back and do mascara. So this is the Lorac Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. One end is a blue tinted primer making for the perfect base to achieve the darkest lashes while nourishing and lengthening at the same time and the other end features a slim wand that will hug your lash from root to tip thickening and volumizing without being clumpy or flaky. This is the blue primer. This is supposed to prime your lashes and condition them for the mascara. You need to let the primer dry pretty well before you go in with the mascara or else it is going to be a clumpy ass mess. It also says that you can just wear the primer alone as sort of like a blue statement lash. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that, but. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for like a couple minutes. Now we're gonna go in with the mascara part of this. So you can see this wand, it is okay. This mascara is nice. Um, it's giving me a dramatic lash, which I like. This is actually the longest I let the primer set and I'm finding that that really, really makes a difference. I have to be honest with you, I feel like I can kind of get just as good a lashes with other mascaras that are less work. If you feel like it clumps up, you can just go in with a spoolie, which I just so happen to have in my handy dandy Luxie brush set. If you feel like it's getting a little spidery up in here. But like maybe the Royal Treatment is actually a really good name for this because this mascara is a little bit extra. It's a little high maintenance, you know what I mean? I mean, I kind of feel like ain't nobody got time for that, but we're making time today. Okay, consensus on this, I definitely would not purchase this. If you're a person who doesn't mind a little bit of clumpiness and you like the look of a little bit of density to your lashes, you might really like this mascara. I just tend to prefer definition and length with my mascara. That retails for $24. I feel like this look is taking a really long time, so I'm just gonna do my brows really quick with some boy brow because I wanna be quick, you know? Done and done. So this is the Wander Beauty Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. It retails for $26. It is a BoxyCharm exclusive launch. It contains three buttery shades that blend seamlessly onto the skin for natural glowing finish. It's two blushes and one highlighter, 
and it's made to flatter all skin tones. You can also use it as eyeshadow, which I think is really cool. Yeah, I like this palette a lot. These are the two blush colors. They do have a little bit of shimmer to them. This is the highlighter color called City Lights. It's a little bit too dark and gold for my complexion, but I think it would look really pretty on olive or darker skin tones. I'm gonna try it anyway, cause why not, right? So I'm not really crazy about these tiny little minute slats in this palette, but whatever. I think I'm gonna use a mixture of Havana Nights and Tuscan Sunrise. Tuscan Sunrise is a really pretty peachy coral color. Havana Nice is more of a rosy pinky color. Run my brush through both. Actually, you know what? That combination reminds me a lot of my Laura Geller uh, Baked Blush and Brighten in the color Tropic Hues, which I love, love, love. This is actually really kind of stunning. Um, okay, Wanderous Palette, I'm kind of into you. I'm going to take my Luxie Tapered Highlighter. This is clean because I have two of these. Um, and I'm going to use this gold ass highlight and see how that goes. I have to say for like a Luke, this is stunning. All right, I was wrong about that palette. I'm obsessed. Wanderous Palette, good job. Sorry, but I just have to take a second to comment on this controversy about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez doing this whole video in college with her friends where they dance in the style of The Breakfast Club. First of all, what is the controversy? Because I pretty much want to be a part of this music video. Honestly, I've never had anything that well filmed or produced done of me in my entire life, including my YouTube channel. So kudos on that. But my major takeaway from this video is, can we just give a slow clap to the fact that these millennials actually knew what the breakfast club was I'm impressed this is the Tarte glitter lip paint it retails for $20 this is a sheer lip gloss which is infused with shimmering glitter and delivers a luscious or did you mean luscious multi-dimensional and high shine finish the reflective glitter gives your lips a fuller look while the sunflower seed wax and mineral pigments coat soothe and soften the lips okay well damn I have to tell you right now this is like my new favorite gloss. I kind of wanted to mention it in my best of the best, but I mean, I couldn't because then I was doing this video next. They sent me the shade called Flaming Hot. You can see it is just this like sort of duochrome, berry, plummy, pinky, purpley goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first and then we're going to apply the gloss. This is my Pat McGrath Permagel Lip Pencil in the color Bear Rose. If you are ever looking for a lip liner that is literally gonna stay all day and stain your lips perfectly, I cannot recommend these enough. Like this shit ain't going anywhere. The only thing I'll say is it's a little bit teensy tiny. The applicator is really small too. Wish everything was like a little bit bigger on this, but whatever. I don't know if you guys can see all of the beautiful glitters that are happening, but I just think this gloss and this color in particular that they sent me, I lucked the hell out. This is gorgeous. This is the finished look with all of the makeup they sent me in this box. I had to say I'm really impressed. For me, we went pretty full glam today, but you can also go really natural with all of these products as well and just do a really gorgeous, glowy, dewy look, which is pretty much what I rock every day. I saved the last couple products, which are not makeup products at all. This is the Spongel Body Wash Infused Body Buffer. This will cleanse, exfoliate, massage, and nourish. This multi-use buffer is dermatologist tested and formulated with extracts of yuzu, Edelweiss. What? I'm so confused. Like, I thought that was a song in The Sound of Music, but it's apparently in this sponge. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. And vetiver. Listen, Spongel, you're getting a little too fancy for me, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But you smell good, so good job. When you feel it, it's like hard. And I thought that when I would use it in the shower, it would like immediately get really soft when hot water hits it, but it like doesn't though, which makes it really, really exfoliating, almost to a point where I feel like I'm rubbing sandpaper all over my body. Kind of hurts a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. This retails for $20. I, I wouldn't pay that for this. If someone uses this and I'm doing it wrong, just someone comment below because I, I literally don't understand this. So the last thing they sent was this wristlet, which says Glam AF, as you can 
very well see. And this Crimes of Beauty portable charger. These both retail for $22. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. Not gonna lie to you, I'm probably not gonna like use this as a clutch when I go out, but it's like a cute little makeup bag. Oh, I just can't like get down with things that have writing on them like this. Glam AF! Or like, beauty boss listen if you like stuff like that no shade whatsoever i just maybe i just don't have enough nerve or confidence to like walk around town with like letters proclaiming who i am or what i believe in but i just i can't with like this situation but anyway still cute and i'll probably use it to store makeup this is kind of awesome it is like the best charger i've ever had it's super flat and portable it's great for new york city because you're always running out of charge yay a charger oh also the last thing i got which i do not have because i gave it away is the pyt mini hair straightener i mean i think that's how you pronounce the brand if it's pit then you need to rename your brand because that's a terrible name. Uh, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments because, you know, people like to do that. So it retails for $75. It's actually like a legit hair straightener and perfect for travel. So if you're looking for something like that, you should definitely check it out. I gave it away as a gift because obviously I have zero need for something like that. Okay guys, so that was my December Boxy Luxe. If you guys are interested in trying Boxy Charm, I will list my code in the description box for you. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you're enjoying my content, please do subscribe, share, and like, and click that little bell right beneath my video next to the subscribe button that is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video it really means more to me than I can possibly say I never thought I would have this many subscribers in one year it is truly blowing me away so thank you thank you thank you so much I'm opening another one Shit, I just got it all over myself hey, bye.